In this video I'm going to show you how to back up the Exasolo database. First I log in using the Exa operation web interface. The default username password is admin admin. I go to Exa storage and I'll define a storage volume where I can save the backup. I select add volume and change some of these parameters. Redundancy is 1. I allow the admin user to access it. The volume type is archive and here I will make the volume size 50 gigabytes. I add this to the single node. There is here just one master node and I set the disk here. Then when I'm ready I press add. Now I can see my archive volume on the Exus storage page. So let's make a backup. I go back to the Exus solution tab and click through on the database I want to back up. Under actions I select backup and press submit. I can change any of the parameters here. This time I want a full level zero backup and I want it to be available for two weeks. When I'm ready, I press Start Backup. To look at the progress of the backup, I go to the Monitoring tab and click through on the log. This shows me that the backup has already finished and there were no errors. So let's have a look at this backup. I go to the Exa Solution tab, I click through on the database and then click on Backups. This shows me the backup that has just completed. Now that I know that I have a full backup on the system, I can schedule my future backups. I do this by going to the Exa Solution tab, clicking through on my database and selecting Schedule. The scheduling screen would be familiar to anyone who has ever used CronTab, but even if you haven't it's quite straightforward. You use asterisk as a wildcard and here I'm going to schedule a level zero full backup for every Sunday of every month at midnight. When I click apply I get a convenient picture of the scheduled backups, when they're beginning and when they will expire. Now I'm going to schedule a level one incremental backup on every day except Sunday. And when I hit apply, I can see the interaction between my full and incremental backups.